Good morning guys, or good afternoon. I'm going to my one and only class today. It is 2.14 p.m. meeting with my advisor and I'm talking about my spring registration stuff and then I also had to talk about like study abroad stuff because I really want to study abroad like in 2024 2025 I feel like that'd be super super fun I was like so rushed after that to get ready and then go to my second class today which was theology and then after that I walked to a cafe got my coffee which is right here and my class ended at like 3 15 and you're probably wondering why am I having a coffee at like 4 p.m that is because it is the start of Halloween weekend last night was kind of I guess the start because it was Thursday night. I did like my laundry and like had a little bit of a self-care like preparation for tonight. So I'll just briefly like show you that footage real quick. First thing I wanted to start the glow up was to do some wash. I had some things planned to wear that weekend that were dirty, so I just wanted to get ahead of my laundry. Then right after that was washing, I grabbed my stuff to go shower and decided to do a full on like self-care shower. I first started off using this hair bonding treatment from Glaze, then proceeded to take off my makeup with this cleansing oil that I've been loving from Anula, and then I used this Versed Foaming Cleanser. I also shaved my legs and used this almond shower oil, then lastly I did a face mask. This one is a pumpkin fall face mask. As you guys just saw, I applied this to my hair. This is the Glazy Plex Super Bond Repair Treatment, and I want to say thank you to them for sponsoring. This Glaze Super Bond Repair Treatment transforms damaged hair to shine in just four minutes. Their clinically proven gloss giving formula repairs, strengthens, and protects. For hair so strong and shiny, it feels just like new. And it's super easy to use. Use it after you shampoo in the shower, you put it on damp hair, and it's like a cream, like based conditioner. And you just leave it on for four minutes and rinse out, and your hair is good as new. It's a little bit of a before clip before I started using this earlier this week. You can just see my hair kind of looks the same as it always does. A lot of split ends and kind of damage, and like more on the drier side. And then here is the result after just using this product once. I can easily see how much more conditioned and full and just how shiny and healthy my hair looks I brought out more like definition you can try out glaze's new super bond treatment i'll have all the links to this down below i've personally been loving it and i've been using it for like the last three to four days this is my second day hair right now and it never looks this good but thank you so much glaze for sponsoring today's video and let's just get back on into the video <laughs> My best friend is gonna be Blair, so we're gonna do like a cute little duo costume. But as of right now, I'm gonna be a little bit productive and do some work before tonight. I really need to make sure I get this video up. I think my friend Laura is coming over around like 8 p.m. We're gonna like head out and go to Brooklyn to my friend Josh's apartment and we're gonna like pregame, have a little party. But first, let's get to the productive little study work hour that we're gonna have. I'm gonna like put a timer on my phone and like work really hard for like an hour and then we'll get ready after that. I feel like the lighting's really good in my room right now. It's like golden hour out outside and it's also really really weird because this weekend is actually pretty hot it's like 80 degrees on halloween weekend which is not normal here in new york <laughs> and I'm eating 
making this makeshift charcuterie board. I have like a lot of leftover charcuterie board ingredients from last night. I did like a whole like charcuterie board making with Notability and a bunch of other content creators, which was super, super fun. So I am currently eating that. We have some cheeses right here. This is brie cheese, which is like my favorite. Some crackers and some honey. Notability had like this professional like chef like do a whole cooking class. I made that myself. You can see there's little like pumpkins and like ghost strawberries. It's very, very Halloween themed. And I just can't believe I made that. And then all of us like hung out after the chef left and like we were just chatting it up and everything. So wholesome. Like I definitely want to do something like this with my friends in Central Park or something. But then we also went to Soho and like went out around and like, it was actually so fun. But now I'm gonna go home, go straight to bed because I'm waking up kind of early tomorrow to meet with my aunt and grandma because they're actually visiting just for lunch. But yeah, I'll update you guys once I get back to my apartment. back now we just finished brunch it is now like 4 p.m and i think laura and i are gonna meet at the met and take some pictures of our costumes from last night because we didn't get pictures <laughs> heavy heavy pouring rain i just checked and it's gonna stop in like 40 ish minutes so I'm hoping that's true because i still want to go grocery shopping and to a cafe today to study for my midterm and walking around new york when it rains is not the vibe but anyways i think right now i'm going to shower and get ready for the day i need a shower and change and then i'm going to upload my video because it's sunday it's gonna take like probably two hours and it's like 11 47 i woke up a little bit late but it's okay <laughs> go out and run my errands but like it's just annoying to especially go grocery shopping with like an umbrella we'll see what the vibe is once i'm done with this <laughs> grocery shopping it's like four days later it's my off day so i'm continuing this weekend vlog and just making it like a few days it's actually freezing outside the temperature right now is 45 degrees and i'm in my super puff because it is freezing This is 
the last time I'm gonna be taking you guys along in this vlog. This will be the last day. I'm walking to class right now. It is so cold. I can see my breath, but it's only November 2nd. I only have one class today in the morning from 10 to 11, so it's basically like a free day for me. So I have a lot of fun things planned. I also need to like do a whole life reset when I get home and clean my room and just really plan out for the holidays and like busy season because it is now November. I will talk to you guys more when I get out of class because I'm running kind of late. I just got out of class and I'm gonna walk to a good cafe that I really like. I am finally back home after my one class today. She actually ended the class like 15 to 20 minutes early, so it was really, really short. And I am back in my apartment at like 11 a.m. and it feels so nice. Guess we're finally gonna get this day started. I have kind of a long to-do list of just random tasks and I will explain to you guys in a little bit. But as of right now, my room is super sunny right now. The sun is pouring in because it is like the morning still and I love this time of day in my room. It makes me so happy. I'm never home for it either. It's always Wednesdays or Thursdays because Wednesday I don't have class, but I usually sleep in really, really late on those days. So it's really nice to be up early. It's like a love and hate relationship with my Thursday class because it's annoying to wake up early just for one class. But like the benefits of it is that I'm now awake and ready and fully put together. Speaking of which, here's my outfit. I am not really proud of it today. It's very, very casual because it has been so, so cold in New York recently. It's weird because at the start of this vlog, it was Halloween and Halloween weekend was weirdly warm, like at 80 degrees. But before that, it was like normal temperatures, like 60, 70, but it's like 40 to 50 now. It like completely dropped off so suddenly and it's like 40 degrees outside. So I was just wearing this like zip up thing that I thrifted, some jeans and my brown little loafer shoes. These are so, so cute. I just got home. So I'm actually gonna take them off right now. And then on top of this, I just wore my super puff, which is like my warmest jacket ever. And it's crazy because I thought I wouldn't be pulling that out until like late November, early December, but this winter is getting cold oddly fast. Anyways, now we are going to get started with the day. Also, I kind of decorated my room for fall. I tried my best to. I just took out some fall blankets like this one and then this one behind me. All of my fall and Christmas decor is back at home. I just never ended up actually filming a fall decorate with me. If you guys have been following me for a while, you would know that I do these videos pretty annually. I just never got around to it in this apartment because I just moved in. I'm still working on my bedroom makeover after like three months. I just don't wanna like put out a decorate with me for fall video for my bedroom if I don't even have like the makeover like done yet it just won't make sense i'm hoping i can get the bedroom makeover up though sometime this month so i can actually decorate for christmas because when i go home for thanksgiving in three weeks i'm only gonna be back for like three days but i'm hoping i can like get some christmas decorations and bring them up here and then put some up and like get my apartment all festive that would be the most ideal situation i'm gonna read you guys off my to-do list for today it's not like super crazy or anything first off i do have to finish and edit a video and send it over to my manager for brand approval I have like my laptop and everything and then basically after that I need a game plan on how I'm gonna get my life back together I basically just need to get on top of my stuff for the holiday season I mean we're basically in the holiday season like Thanksgiving Black Friday Christmas That's all right around the corner and like being a content creator I want to put out like really good festive like fun content for you guys and also be like super consistent And then I also just need to plan out when I'm gonna film all these festive videos because I am going home for Christmas So I want to do like a Christmas in New York City vlog here and I want to film that before I go home. There's just so much to it. I'm also going to be in the midst of finals. And then after that at like 3 p.m. in like three hours from now, I have to pick up a lamp. I bought this lamp off of Facebook Marketplace from this really nice lady and I'm going with my friend because that's just for safety precautions. We're both going to go downtown to pick it up and it's actually for my bedroom makeover. And then when I bring back the lamp, I plan to actually rearrange my room completely. You guys probably won't see any of that though because that's all gonna be in the bedroom makeover video but I am doing that later today and then later tonight I need to just also clean my room and do some laundry <laughs> So now I'm actually going to finish the video stuff and the editing I need to do today. I'm gonna sit down probably for like a good two hours right now and also eat my muffin I just got from Birch Coffee. It's a really good coffee place that's nearby my campus and I picked it up on the way home. I only have the muffin left because I quite literally chugged the coffee. It was so, so good. But I got a caramel latte and then it was so nice having like a warm coffee too. And then I got this like pumpkin spice muffin and I took like a big bite out of it while I was walking home too. I definitely think 
think we were in like the peak of fall right now. So I thought it would be kind of festive to get like a little pumpkin muffin. It's really, really good too. We're pretty good on time. It is now 2.19 and the video is exporting. As of right now, I'm gonna make like a matcha or something because I already had coffee and usually after I have my coffee, I like to make a matcha or get a matcha. I bought my coffee this morning, so I should be making like one of them at home. And then I'm going to leave to go to the school again to meet my friend Morgan at Lincoln Center and then pick up that lamp from Facebook Marketplace. You guys won't really see that because that's all gonna be in the bedroom makeover video. Welcome to the kitchen. Let's make a little caffeinated drink. because my one and only glass straw broke. Just so upsetting because I normally drink my coffee and matcha with like a straw and I don't like getting disposable like straws and the glass straws are so much nicer than the reusable plastic ones. So I really need to order them off Amazon like as soon as possible. I just keep on forgetting because I just had like one straw. It literally dropped on the floor and shattered everywhere. I didn't even know they could actually like break. I always thought that I don't know that they would be a little more durable, but mine was pretty old. So anyways, this looks really good. I always like my matcha super dark. Normally they're not really this green, but I like making it strong. <laughs> That is so good. I think I'm also going to make some lunch right now because I'm in the kitchen, I might as well cook. But I think I'm gonna make what I usually make for breakfast just because I never know what to make for lunch. Like I'm pretty good at making dinners for myself like salmon, pork, rice. And breakfast, it's always like avocado toast, breakfast sandwiches, but like I never know what to make for lunch. So I think I'm just gonna make what I usually make for breakfast, which is like an English muffin. And then I put like an egg in it and then some cheese. And it's like a little breakfast sandwich, kind of like the ones you can get from Starbucks. And that usually works well for like a lunch anyways i also just got like a bunch of new english muffins and stuff at the grocery store and eggs yesterday so we're set on making that 